Alright, I know, I know, I haven't done reviews in a while because I've been working on two short films at the same time, so I'll keep it brief. Both critics and the trailer for The Heir of the Man with Red Eyes should be dropping on Friday. Hopefully. Don't quote me on that. I honestly don't have much I really can say about Endgame. It's good, it has heart, and characters, and great action. But as I said, I don't really know if there's anything I can really add to this one. Y'all know what the general plot is. I mean, I don't have to give away the fact that, you know, Thanos won. And the whole plot is trying to undo the fact that the bad guy won. But, like, really, that's it. Like... If you like Marvel movies, you'll probably like this one. It, it, It's not like Infinity War, and I feel like, you know, that part of it is one of the reasons I didn't really like this as much as Infinity War. I still love it as a movie. It's one of the best of the year, easily. But I felt like the whole gimmick of Infinity War being this whole the villain is the protagonist kind of gimmick it was very narratively just more interesting than... Basically what this is, which is kind of just a gigantic, like, series finale. It's, hey, you look at the characters you, you love, because we do love them. You know, we got Captain Marvel, she's cool. We got Captain America, he's cool. We got Tony, he's cool. We got we got the Hulk, right, you know? And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I still loved the movie, but I, I just kind of, you know, felt a bit underwhelmed. I do think, like, on the action and the, the character side, it's better than in Infinity War by far. I, I saw it twice in theaters, so, you know, that that's something. That, that should be a sign of how much I, you know, actually enjoyed the movie. But, like, as I said, I just didn't think it was as smart as Infinity War. But but that that's not anything against this. As I said, I think it's definitely the best. The third act alone is one of the... Like, a massive riot. It's... It blew Return of the King's final battle out of the water. I'm not saying the specifics, because it's Avengers, but there is a final battle, because there's always one in the Avengers movie, but, you know, it's good. It's really good. If you're a fan, go see it. It's amazing. Uh, I'll give it an adore reaction. Let's be honest. As soon as we heard that Ryan Reynolds was voicing Pikachu, we knew things could probably suck about this movie. But then we saw the first trailer, and it was great. And the second one, and the TV spots, and, and especially as someone who's not a fan of Pokemon, I was like, hey, this looks like a good movie. I should check it out. So I saw it. It's amazing. Really, it's a, it's a great movie. This is like the best video game movie, like, ever. Like, how? Okay, okay. The plot is basically Tim, our main protagonist, is basically this insurance agent who basically gets called to Rhyme City because, you know, his dad's a detective and he's gone missing. So now he has to team up with his dad's former Pikachu partner who talks to him somewhere how. Don't want to get into how because that's a bunch of spoilery stuff. But anyways, now they have to solve this massive mystery. And first off, the detective stuff in the story isn't really that interesting. Like, if you've seen Zootopia, you've you've seen it. I mean, that's not saying it's bad. Like, the writers still did a good job making it at least a fun mystery. And if you're a kid, like, which is what the target audience for this is, it, it really works. I, I was at least invested in it, even if I knew what was going to happen, so that's always a good sign. But really, the real star of this movie is the cast. The cast is amazing in this. Like our main character, Tim, for example. Okay, that's a very controversial statement, apparently, because apparently some people didn't really like his character. I can understand why. Personally, I kind of liked this kind of loner dude who didn't really like his dad all that much, and he gets thrown into this... 
I I really kind of related to him as more and more of his like backstory got revealed. I I, I really do like him. I I thought he was great. His uh, reporter friend, eh, I liked her kind of. She, except she kept doing this annoying thing that like has always annoyed me about Pokemon and just anime in general, which is just this. We talk like this the whole time you, you know what i'm talking about where they inflect certain words she does it well and i still liked her but come on movie you ain't speed racer you don't need to be over the top and cheesy by the way that movie is awesome and and anyone who says otherwise you, you clearly haven't seen it Ahem. anyways i was also surprised with how great Ryan Reynolds was, but, you know, if you watch the trailer, you can pretty much say how good he is just on that. But I think it was more the emotional stuff, because this movie actually has heart. Like, actual heart. J just like Speed Racer, again. Dang, this is just like Speed Racer, because that's the best, like, live-action anime movie. And this is, like, the best live-action video game movie. Cool. As for the rest of the cast, don't really have to say much. I don't want to say much because, you know, one of them is like, as soon as you see the actor, you're like, oh, that guy's constantly tight cast as a villain, so I guess he's the villain. Spoilers, that the guy's the villain. Trust me, you'll know it when you see it, if you know who the actor is. Uh, the action was fun. The Pokemon were cute. I have nothing to add in regards to the actual Pokemon because... I'm not a Pokemon fan. I know a little bit about it. I wasn't lost in the movie, so, you know, that's a good sign. <clears throat> but the thing I actually liked was how it felt like the writers of this film were, like, actual fans of this, like, source material. Like, they were trying to figure out how to utilize the Pokemon into the world and natural storyline. Heck, they have basically this normal Pokemon that kind of looks lame. But then by the end of what you find out what his power set is, it turns into like the full-blown Pennywise of the Pokemon world. Yeah, this is my new nightmare fuel, this creature here. It also really showed that the writers were trying to figure out how to make the video game source material work in a movie. So what did they do? Well, the main gimmick of Pokemon is that all these fans like just catching Pokemon because they can recognize the Pokemon. Well, how about we just not do that we just put cameos for the pokemon so it can recreate that gameplay experience without having to ruin the movie yeah seems like a smart idea bill let's write that down and you can just also tell they really wanted to make it feel like an actual living world it was kind of impressive if anything and something that other studios have suffered from and are continuing to suffer from i had to sit through a trailer of the sonic movie like, I'd already seen it, so I knew it was coming, but... Jeepers, that movie looks bad. Oh, I feel bad for the poor CG animators that have to fix this whole thing in six months. <sighs> Overall, while not mind-blowing or anything, Detect the Pikachu is great and a genuine surprise. I'm giving it a love reaction. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed these quick reviews, or more accurately... I talk briefly about Endgame and talk a lot about Detective Pikachu, but, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.